I'm excited to say that here in the studio with more on the extensions to the security barrier and budget allocations for controversial settlement expansions is Knesset member Yoav Kish of the ruling Likud party. Thank you so much for coming in to, uh, sure, today and speaking with us. Here. So first, we're going to start off with the security barrier real quick. Uh, right now, with Jerusalem in the state it's in. We're coming off of the crisis over the Temple Mount and all these accusations coming from Turkey, from Jordan about changing of the status quo, etc. Are we inflaming, are we making matters worse by extending the barrier now? I think that Israel is only acting as of security issues. And you can see it also with putting the metal detectors in uh, Harabait. And the Palestinians took it as though it's a, a political stand. But you need to remember that Israel is responsible for security in this area. And the move to put the uh, metal detectors was in order to avoid the next uh, terror act in Harabait. The same with the security fence. It has the sole meaning of avoiding terror acts against Israel. And you can see that what happened in Israel is not that um, uh, uh, Jews are taking weapons every day and attacking Arabs. It's the vice versa. You, there's always an attempt of the Arabs and the extreme Islam to attack Israel, and we need to protect ourselves, and the measures that we are taking are from security-wise. So, so on a security standpoint, once the security barrier was put up in 2002, we saw a dramatic drop in the rate of terror attacks, especially with uh, suicide bombings and things like that. Uh, I think the latest statistics is something of a 90% drop in attacks. Will complete, you know, how will completing this section of the fence aid in that effort? Because, you know, recently we've been seeing some more attacks just on the Temple Mount. Those were three Israeli Arabs. How, how is this going to really affect security? You know, the, there is a debate about what reduced the uh, amount of terror at that days. Because also at that time that they start building the fence was an in, initial approach of going back so of the Shin Bet into the villages and really uh, regaining control over the villages in sense of security. So mm -hmm. Israel, at the same time, when they put the fence, also took the security control under its own mm -hmm. authority. And you don't know, it's hard to measure what are the effects. But for sure, for your questions, I don't think that the security fence is the sole solution and will stop the uh, terror. I think it's mm -hmm. another measure. I even don't think it's the most crucial one, but it's another measure. And I think that uh, by putting together different uh, surroundings for security. It can be the human work inside these villages of the Arabs and the, the fence and surveillance and all these stuff. These are the things that can stop uh, eventually the terror, but you cannot depend only on the fence or any other uh, solution. All right, so uh, now I'd like to move on to Amona and the new, the new construction of a settlement for the residents of the old Amona settlement. Uh, why do you think that the that the housing ministry that, that is going so far out of its way to be personally involved with the construction of the settlement? I guess it's important to him, and I think that the whole government sees the responsibility uh, for the Amona uh, people. We need to remember that the Amona people was, uh, were uh, evacuated from their house, mm -hmm. the house that they were living there for years and years, for more than decades. And they agreed to uh, leave this, uh, this, uh, the Amona uh, settlement in order if there'll be a new settlement. And that was the agreement with the government that they'll open a new place for them, that they can still remain in their own community and they can maintain their way of life. And under this agreement between the government and the uh, settlers, they left the, uh, the Amona without uh, violence. Mm -hmm. And it was relatively... Uh, low tension uh, evacuation, you can say, to what could have been if this would be a, a, a more uh, uh, extreme one. So I think all the ministers, including the uh, Yoav Gallant, sees themselves as responsible to commit to fulfill this agreement. It's good to see that, uh, that our ministries are taking their uh, promises very to heart uh, and very seriously. And thank you so much for coming in thank and you. shedding some light I appreciate on that. And I think it's a good message to all of us that uh, we will not evacuate a settlement unless we'll build another one. All right. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. All right. Kassim Member Yoav Kish, thank you.